Today I'm going to show you a few of the um, ways that I air my air horns up, the tanks and the air lines and the valves. Um, I've been asked several questions by different people um, how I do this, so I'll show you the different ideas I've come up with. There's a lot of different ideas you can use. Um, this is my golf cart right here, the one that I've got the train horns that I, the four inch that I mounted on top here. Um, pretty standard. I just have a one 11 gallon air tank in this one. And then I'm running a half inch air line up to a train horn valve. This is a half inch gram white valve with a handle on it, just like a real train horn has on it. And then that runs up to a half inch pipe with half inch PVC pipe. And then I've got, uh, I'm using the barbed nipples on this one. And I'm just running 3 8 inch air lines off those barbed nipples. The air lines go up to each individual horn. And if you look here, you can see a yellow insert in there. I'll show you what that is. And that is just a wire connector and it fits nice and snug inside my airline but then it connects it down to just a 1 8 inch just leaves a 1 8 inch hole for the air to pass through and that helps meter the air a little bit slows it down just a little bit because um, when you give it a full blast uh, it'll keep from blowing the diaphragms out if you have too big of a push of air all at once uh, it can tend to push the diaphragms out or uh, ruin them so that's the one on my golf cart. Um, you can hook a air compressor up to this permanently. You know, just uh, put a uh, airline fitting on here and connect an air compressor to it permanently, so you can always compress the air in the tank. This one here, a lot of times, I just charge it up with a air compressor that I have in my shop, and just charge it up. It's good. An 11 gallon tank is good for oh, at least 15 good blasts probably. So. Uh, now I'll show you my car. This is my Nissan Maxima. And in this one I do have an air compressor in here permanently. This is my Puma or Puma, however you want to say it, air compressor. It has its own one and a half gallon air tank, which wouldn't do you much good. You really need, on uh, this one I have two 11 gallon air tanks connected together. And the air compressor is connected with a line that connects directly into the fitting on the air tank. So after the air supply goes down to about 90 pounds of pressure, this air compressor has an automatic kick on switch and it will come on automatically at 90 pounds and then it will charge it back up to 130 pounds. And then it shuts itself off automatically also. So you can leave the power on at all times with this one if you want, and just uh, it'll charge when it needs to. And this one, I've got each tank hooked into a T-fitting here, and that goes up to my half-inch gram white valve on here, and the airline runs right up through the trunk lid. I drill the hole right through the trunk lid and uh, bolted a big wood plate on the bottom here to help stabilize the horns and hold them on there nice and steady so they don't buckle the trunk in. Now if we come around here you can see the horns on the trunk lid. These are Nathan Air Chime uh, K3HAs. Three bell on the high manifold. <clears throat> So that's how that whole system works. Um, you can get as fancy as you want, which this is fairly well set up. Um, another thing you can do with your valve, instead of having a manual valve, this one I run a, a wire right straight into the up to the driver's seat, and I can pull on that cable, and that's what pulls the valve. The cable's running all the way up through the back of the back seat, up through the um, to the front driver's seat. So I just give it a tug and it pulls the valve open. But you can um, also do uh, 
a solenoid, which is electronic, 12 volt electronic solenoid, and that would connect there in place of that manual valve. So it depends on if you want if it's you wanted to use a solenoid, it's either on or off. It's full blast or it's nothing. Um, where the manual valve, you can meter the air, you can slowly bring them on, um, and just use a little bit of air at a time if you want. So, I'll shut the trunk here a second. That's what they're looking like on my trunk. Got these painted up for the Detroit Red Wings, my team. And of course, a few people think I'm a little nuts for mounting those on there, but so far I haven't gotten any in any trouble with the law for using them. But I try not to use them around traffic, of course. I try to be careful and stay out in the country with them and just amuse myself. So anyway, that's the different systems that I've come up with. Um, you don't have to get fancy with a valve either. I forgot to show you this. You can just use a plain old air ball valve. It's just a ball valve. You can find these most any, a uh, lot of plumbing supply places and um, any place that has air compressors, of course, because this is more more used for an air valve. But uh, probably about under 10 bucks, I think, for one like this, half inch line. So you can get simple like that. You really don't have to get fancy. Of course, if you want to spend the big bucks and go all out, those are about. You can find them on eBay anywhere from 60 to 100 bucks. It depends, but for the most part, they go from 60 to 80. I've seen them on there a lot of times. So there you go. Hopefully that answers a lot of the questions people have been having.